What's going on everyone? My name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to take a look at this thing, the tour box. Dread Labs. Right, so the Toolbox is a nifty little device that will speed up your workflow in a variety of creative software such as Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, and basically anything that you want to use it for. Uh, so the people over at Toolbox were kind enough to send one over to me uh, to test it out and show you guys what it's capable of and to give you guys a little bit of a review. I've never really used any hardware like this. The only thing that I use aside from my mouse and my keyboard are uh, graphic tablets. So this was all kind of new to me, uh, but yeah, I was really excited about it and uh, basically I'll show you a little bit about the unboxing, uh, what it comes with if you order it uh, and how I use it and yeah, my general thoughts about it. When I open the outside package, uh, you can see that the box is looking very nice. Uh, it has a matte tint to it uh, and yeah, it came with like a little bit of an explanation on how I can use it and yeah, basically like a little bit of a note on where to start out. A small little manual and a way to store your cable and your uh, tour box itself when you're traveling which is also really nice uh, the tour box itself is quite small uh, it fits in one hand which is really nice uh, and i guess it's made it this way so you can like use it with your left hand as i'm like mainly using my right hand to use a mouse and then my left hand on a keyboard uh, basically this will probably like replace a lot of the keyboard usages in these softwares that I'm, that's what i'm presuming i guess yeah, and besides that, the buttons feel good. I think it's plastic or, or like rubbery, I guess. Uh, yeah, it kind of sticks to your, your hand a little bit, which is nice. It doesn't really feel slippery. It also fits in your hands like ergonomically. So yeah, it's like, yeah, it feels nice. Uh, so it comes with 10 buttons, uh, two dials and a scroll wheel. And you can also uh, press all of the dials and scroll wheel as well. And I think this will give us a lot of customization options. Yeah, really curious to see what it looks like. Uh, so yeah. I think we should just dive into working with it and see how it works. Basically, I gave myself a week uh, trying to learn to work with this thing, uh, see what kind of shortcuts would work best with me like using it. Uh, and I found out that like my favorite software to use this on is Premiere Pro. And I'll show you a little bit of a demo later on. But yeah, it's super nice to work with. Uh, it's basically sped up my workflow. I literally customized the buttons on the thing uh, so that it works well with my editing uh, on Premiere Pro when I'm doing my tutorial videos. And yeah, it basically just speeds up my workflow because I otherwise I keep have to reaching over to my keyboard and type in these shortcuts and this basically just speeds that whole process up. Besides that in Illustrator I have a couple of shortcuts that I use uh, and that I linked up to my uh, control and then a number on my keyboard. Uh, basically I routed these shortcuts uh, to my uh, toolbox as well. Uh, other than that obviously scroll buttons, um, the zoom buttons and also the uh, undo and redo buttons are really nice. See so yeah, in Illustrator uh, I kind of have still kind of have to learn uh, how to use it because I'm like so used to use the keyboard shortcuts that I kind of have to force myself in the first couple of days to use the toolbox on that one uh, as well as in Premiere Pro it kind of came in there naturally. Uh, and then there's also like Photoshop in which I use it a lot and uh, the thing is with Photoshop I kind of like how you're using it with navigating. Uh, but with Photoshop, I still am like trying out different shortcuts, see what I use most on my keyboard and trying to replace that with a toolbox so I can speed up my workflow. So yeah, guys, now I want to give you a little bit of a Premiere Pro demo where I added one of my videos and show you how I speed up my workflow a lot. All right, guys, so um, I am at my computer right now. As you can see, the camera is not pointing at me, but at the toolbox here. And I wanted to give you a little demo of how I use this in Premiere Pro, as this is uh, probably the field where I use my toolbox the most. Actually, I use the toolbox in Premiere Pro so much that I don't even use my keyboard anymore, uh, only for naming stuff, and I rarely use my mouse. Uh, so yeah, let me just show you how it looks like and where I like routed my uh, buttons to. So the most important one is this dial right here, and this is what I use to scroll through uh, my timeline. So you can see, this is how I specifically scroll. Like, and if you scroll slower, you're gonna do frame by frame uh, to cut my videos. So I have a very standard procedure of how, how I edit my videos and I'll show you real quick what I do uh, in a nutshell. So here on the bottom like right, uh, I have the play button. As you can see in the timeline here, there's a little bit of silence. So this is where I'm not really you doing anything. As you can probably also see in the video. We just inverted this thing and now with the top button here, I just cut my clip. I scrub through and I can see, okay, here is where I start talking again. 
And now I'll be pressing play to see if I actually start making sense or if this is something that I should cut out. Right, so for this part, let me just cut this again. And just before I start talking. Okay, now with this one, I just zoom in and out. And as you can see, this part is basically like uh, a whole bunch of silence that we don't need. So with the up button, I select my like cut the clip. Uh, with the left button, I go to the start of the selected clip. With the middle like scroll button, where which I use to scroll through the timeline without like moving my uh, timeline cursor, I just delete it when I press it. And then with this like smaller button, I fill in the gap like that. So yeah, this basically has sped up my process because otherwise I keep have to reaching over to my keyboard, pressing multiple like combinations of stuff and. Uh, because in Premiere I don't really edit that much uh, and I mainly just edit like with the same couple of like shortcut buttons the toolbox is ideal for that uh, let me show you how fast I actually work with this uh, without like talking uh, to show you like how this has improved my workflow Right guys, we didn't really have like that much to edit anymore, but yeah, I hope it's like a little bit clear on how I use this thing. All right, so now that you've seen it as an action, uh, I hope it's a little bit more clear on how they use this thing. All right, so this is the Toolbox console. You can download this off their website uh, and it will automatically like register your Toolbox for you. I didn't download any driver or something like that. Here you can just select which software you're using and where you want to edit your uh, shortcuts to. So for example, in Premiere Pro. So the easy part is I can just like click on a button, for example, this one. And it'll automatically go to the short button here. And if I click on that, basically I can either make my own custom shortcut. And for example, this is a space bar, but it'll also like show the built-in functions in Lightroom and Premiere. For example, you can just see that there are built-in functions in Premiere Pro that Toolbox registers, and you can also just edit it that way. Uh, what I usually do is I have a lot of shortcuts like custom made, so uh, I can just do it like this and then say, for example, uh, holding Control and S for saving, it'll automatically register the function here. Uh, it does that with a couple of software, but not with everything. Uh, anyways, and it'll just go click OK. Now the short button on my toolbox will basically save my project for me. Uh, you can also just search by tag. For example, when I type in play, you'll see, okay, this is the play function and I'm gonna just click OK. And now it's back routed to play. It's easy as that and it immediately works. So that's really nice. So yeah guys, that's basically my thoughts on the toolbox. Uh, I'm really happy with it uh, and I highly encourage you that if you have the budget to use this to make your workflow go faster, especially if you're like a video editor or something like that. That's basically what I prefer using it for the most. Uh, but the cool thing is that you can just use multiple kinds of software and see how this will speed up your workflow in any kind of field. Um, so yeah, shout out to the people over at Toolbox for sending me this over to give you the review. So yeah, if this wanted to make you a, get a Toolbox yourself, uh, you can get one through the link in the description. And at the end of this video, Video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. So if you don't know, if you become a patron of mine, you'll get access to all of the project files from my tutorials, a 15% discount in my asset web store, a cool Discord role, and if you go one tier up, you'll also get access to the full-on video series of me starting a clothing brand. So yeah, if this is something you're interested in, there's also a link in the description to my Patreon. If you have any questions about the toolbox or suggestions for a new video or whatever, please leave them down in the comments or you can join us on Discord. And with all of that being said, this was Tom from Dreadlabs tuning out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.